to the level where uh, the crew access arm is. That's that long suspended walkway. So here they go up the steps. Oh, look how beautiful. It's been a long time since I've had the, the privilege of being up there and seeing that view up in person, but it is just, words don't do it justice. Yeah. Okay, and so this will be Victor and Soichi yeah. now approaching the pad. So Mike and Shannon got a head start. Uh, Victor and Soichi are, are making their way to the elevator now. I wonder if they're going to stop and oh, they got a strain, or maybe they've already done that to see to uh, get a look up. And you know, uh, we're having a lot of fun here. We know the crew is, is having a blast. There they, there they are. I knew they were going to do it. Here's a look inside the crew access arm um, from the inside. I love this shot. You know, when this was being designed, it was definitely a forward thinking design that we went with. Um, we really wanted it to encapsulate the experience of the next era of spaceflight, really wanting to make it look futuristic as with the suits and the, the capsule itself. Uh, we now see Shannon adding her signature to the wall. So uh, in keeping with tradition, we painted this room white and um, the advanced team, once again, I'll talk about them. Um, part of their responsibility, also making sure that there's a Sharpie on hand so that crew members can add their names to our signature wall. Bob and Doug did this prior to their flight. And I love that this is really the last thing you do before you get in our spaceship. I just love <laughs> that there's an opportunity and, I, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the like list of names see. grow over time. Say that we got blue skies and a couple of puffy white clouds yeah. working with us. So um, while it might look a little overcast on the screen, uh, we are, we're pretty happy with what, we're, what we've got cool at the moment. Tracking. And you can see the little shadows Neat. of them moving along through the windows into, okay. the, into the white room. Mm -hmm. Almost wow. there. Future is here. I love this view inside Crew Dragon. And as you saw, there are four seats configured right now. And they're numbered one to four from right to left when you're looking at the seats. Mike Hopkins is in seat two. That's the commander's seat. And then Victor Glover will be beside him in seat three. He, uh, that for Crew Dragon is the pilot seat. Soichi Noguchi is in seat one. And Shannon Walker is in seat four. Once they're all finished uh, getting buckled in, those seats will also rotate into launch position. Right now, uh, it does look like they're a little further away from those display panels, but once they rotate backwards, uh, those display panels will be right Gen in front of them, uh, easy to access. Cruise to again. Now we're coming up on T-minus 47 minutes, and the SpaceX team is so finishing up the Adona Bill Falls. We're waiting for a few more people to give the control electronic type thumbs screen. up. So then the SpaceX so, launch bye -bye button, and, uh, bye -bye button, check that bye -bye. out off, and then proceed uh, into the remainder of the countdown, uh -huh. which will include propellant loading at T minus 35 minutes. During the morning, we have Apollo 11. Apollo 11, we have the crew access arm. And it looks like the crew access arm has already begun okay. uh, to retract away. Just a beautiful sight. So this is one of the last major visual milestones that we have before launch. Okay, right on time. And a great view of Dragon. Sitting on top of the Falcon 9 as we're continuing to load the liquid oxygen onto both the first and second stages. The RP-1 kerosene fuel is now completely loaded on both stage 1 and stage 2. Mm -hmm. All continues to Oxygen, go well, yeah. just Mid under 6 Oxygen. minutes to launch. Oxygen with the Oxygen. Dragon is in configure for terminal count. Dragon is on internal power. Falcon 9 propellant tanks are pressurized and for strong back recharge. And as you can hear those sounds, like Soichi Noguchi said, the vehicle is alive. Alive. Dragon 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 is Let's get the farm. Falcon 9 is now controlling. Fifth 
50 seconds now until liftoff. That FTS you heard is flight termination. SpaceX, go for launch. SpaceX, this is resilient. Go Go for launch, and at 37 seconds, the International Space Station flying over Kennedy Space, Space Center. Crew, one, crew, one for all. crew Dragon poised to go catch it. Twenty seconds till liftoff. ไอ้ยืนบ่เอ่ออีลอนมัสครูแทรกันฟังกันนายเวลาฮอตเตอร์คือทางเพลิงกำลังวิจกตั้งอ่าตรังเป็นมอเตอร์ไซค์ไปว
って。うん、ああ、ね、どうでしょう。ボールを見つけたら、ボールを見つけたら、ボールを見つけたら、ボールを見つけたら、ボールを見つけたら、ボールを見つけたら、ボールを見つけたら、ボールを見つけたら、ボールを見つけたら、ボールを見つけたら、ボールを見つけたら、ボールを見つけたら、ボールを見つけたら、ボールを見つけたら、ボールを見つけたら、ボールを見つけたら、Right where we want, right on time, and we're getting ready for our next major activity, which will be Dragon spacecraft separation. Now, currently, on the second stage, we are essentially venting pressure, purging the engine out, making sure everything is quiet in preparation. Take a look. That's inside Crew Dragon right now. Our Crew One crew now coasting. In low Earth orbit, still attached to that second stage. In just a couple of minutes, we should see that second stage separate, and Crew Dragon will be flying free. No、uh, second stage there. I think we need to know. And the separation is confirmed. You can see that second stage departing. Crew Dragon leaving it behind. So long, more job, Jim. สำหรับควบคุมทีสนีในทงเย็น Confirmation from teams on the ground and the crew. You can see them monitoring those three display panels, monitoring their journey to the International Space Station and where they are in the world right now or over the world, I should say. Jim, Jim, Jim. Make it, yes.